Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Gode, and today I'm going to talk to you about quite an interesting topic. I've not done this before, and in fact, I was quite uh, interested in seeing what this paper had to say. So what is the usual thing that we do? We either freeze our embryos on day three, or we decide to freeze embryos on day five. So the embryos that you freeze on day three, you thaw those embryos and replace them on day three. Well, the embryos which you freeze on day five, you thaw them and replace them on day five. So this was a paper which said, what happens if you freeze embryos on day three, thaw them and culture them till day five? So in fact, you've frozen the embryos and you culture to day five. And the second option is that you thaw the embryos of day five and see what happens. So it was quite a, a retrospective study that was done and in which there were 463 thawed embryos and 231 thawed embryos were of blastocyst on day five and 232 embryos were cleaved, that is day three. They did not do day two freezing. They did day three where you get six to eight cell embryos and the embryos were frozen on day three. And the uh, embryos were thawed and replaced. When you start looking at the success rates, and that's very interesting, and the success rates do indicate that the ongoing pregnancy rates for the day three embryos was 43% for ongoing pregnancy and 32.9% for uh, day five embryos. And so if you have a look at this and you'll say, well, that seems to be a, a quite a difference in live birth rates. So what was their logic? And this is what I was interested to know. And what is your thinking behind it? So what the thinking was that if you freeze embryos on day three, you have fewer cells. Remember, uh, I believe that if you have fewer cells, the survival rate would also be less because any damage that comes from follicles, uh, from uh, embryos, uh, from the freezing will have an impact on its thawing. But what they did say is that as you vitrify, you want to prevent. So the fast vitrification prevents formation of, of ice crystals inside the cells. Now, the blastocyst has a cystic fluid structure, and that is usually collapsed before you do a vitrification. Now, sometimes if it's not, it is possible that inadequate vitrification may cause ice crystals and these make the embryos not survive at a blastocyst stage. Now, in my practice, where I think that doesn't seem to happen and I've not seen that and the success rates seem to be exceptionally good with the blastocyst transfer. So here they, they, they thought that probably that is the reason why those embryos that reach the blastocyst stage from day three may be doing better. Again, this is just one study and that does give us an idea that maybe there is some element logic in culturing embryos from day three. But well, it's again the choice which you have to make whether you want to give that a try. But if you do have embryos frozen on day three, I'll say culture them to day five. And that is what I would do in my practice if I've ever frozen them in the past. Thank you very much.